What's up guys, uh, I don't know productions or uh, Bear Dangles or Dangles Designs here and today I'm coming at you with a new tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to add flags to your logos, um, like how, uh, I don't know, I don't know of a good example but like, you probably know what I mean, how to have a, make your logo instead of being like a color, being a flag design. And um, I've gotten a lot of requests from this, uh, so here it is. I'm on my new computer too, which is awesome, my MacBook Pro, and I love this thing. It's really, really sick, really fast. I had a 2006 before, and uh, yeah, this cost me $1,200, um, and it was well worth the purchase. And uh, so what you want to do, you want to have your logo, um, and I have a special way of making my logos, but this is... Uh, I'll link the video of how to make a interchangeable logo in the description or uh, right on the screen right now, either or. But so what you want to do, you want to have your Photoshop logo out, um, and just to change things around, the color overlay that's set to hue. Like, I'm sure you know about doing this, and that changes the whole color scheme of everything. Like, you move it to red. What you want to do, you just want to drag it all the way down to black, so it's nice and gray, and. Um, Go to Safari, uh, see like this is the logo on uh, my channel, right there, that's the logo that I'm talking to you guys about making, putting a flag on it, put the UNC, but here's what you go to, um, you go and you search, let's just do a Canadian flag, cause I, Canadian is part of my heritage, don't hate, don't, don't hate, and uh, so just let's take this one, it looks fine. And uh, I don't know what you guys do if you save it to your desktop, but I just drag the image, go down to Photoshop, hold it over there, clicks in, go and hold it over there, then go to layer and just drop it, and it's, it's already in there. So um, what you want to do, go into Photoshop, and go to Edit, Transform, Scale. And I'm just going to move it over, move it up. Now what you could do here, you could hold down Shift and make it so that it goes out like that. Or what I do, I really don't care too much. I just stretch it down so that it fills up the whole logo. So that covering the whole thing. Just gonna press enter. And now what you wanna do, you wanna go to your uh, logo layer and you wanna to select everything in that layer, you hit command or uh control on a PC, I believe it is, and you get this little like finger with this uh selection box around it, and you click inside that layer on the right hand side and it highlights it all. Then you want to go back up to your flag layer, hit Control or Command, um, Shift and I to inverse the selection, and then press Delete. And uh, right now you have the flag there. Everything is deleted that's not on the bear logo. And um, But it has no depth to it, so you want to double click on that layer and change the opacity. I like 68%. Looks really nice there. I mean, I like that a lot. And um, yeah, so that's how you add it. You can just adjust it, play around with the settings of the opacity, make it more opacic. Uh, you can um, add a uh, brightness and contrast layer to it just to bring up the depth of it, uh, go into the contrast, make that deeper, tone down the brightness, do whatever. I mean, really, that's up to you. Um, so, yeah, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Just banged it out quickly. I just came back from school. Uh, had no homework. I had, had to do like an essay every night. A five page essay. It kind of sucked. But um, yeah. So please favorite, like, comment, tell your friends. And hopefully this is useful to you guys. Thanks a lot. And uh, stay tuned.